Hey there, it's Mrs. Rocco, and today we are going to go through the virtual scheduling form. And so due to the recent events with COVID, scheduling will be completed through these online measures. Please complete this form by April 20th. Your responses will be used to build your schedule by a counselor. So before completing this form, we need to make sure that you have sketched out your new schedule. In, or in order to do that, you need some specific documents. The first is a master schedule for both core classes and elective courses. And there is a link to find that form. And then you're gonna use the curriculum guide and then your course recommendations and course sheets found on your Infinite Campus account. But for right now, what we're going to do, we are going to go through the master schedule for both core classes and elective courses. And I'm going to teach you how to read that master schedule. What we are looking at right now is the master schedule. And so I wanna go through how to read a master schedule with you. If you notice at the top, we have columns labeled first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. This is the time of the day that the course is offered. As we go down through the schedule, we notice that the blue is our English class. Green would represent math courses. Pink is science courses. And the dark blue are social studies courses. And then we have non-pathway electives first semester and pathway electives first semester. In the pathway electives category, if the class falls under the green bar, those classes are offered at East. If the class falls under the pink bar, those classes are offered at JCTC. And the red bar, those classes are offered at West High. And then we have non-pathway electives. Second semester. So the yellow represents the non-pathway electives that are offered at East High. And then we go down and we notice we have the courses that are our pathway courses. Again, green being the classes offered at East, pink being the classes offered at JCTC, and red being the classes offered at West. As you are looking at the schedule, you will notice um, some markings on the master schedule, and I would like to go through with you what those mean. When we are talking about our core classes, those are all year long, meaning they will be in both semesters. The non-pathway electives, most of them, and the pathway electives, most of them are semester, and they are single period unless they're marked otherwise. For example, if you notice, you will see sometimes a DB. For example, Military Leadership 3 in that first column in row 42. Military Leadership 3 has a DB, and that means it is double blocked. That class covers two periods. So, Military Leadership 3 is first and second period in semester one. So again, DB indicates double blocked. In addition, you will see that sometimes a class, for example, medical interventions in fourth period on row 49 says full year. That indicates that medical interventions is fourth period, both first and second semester. In addition, you will notice that some of these electives have stars. A start elective means that there is a course that you must take before you can enroll in the course that has the star. For example, web design has what we call a prerequisite. If you do not know what that prerequisite is, please make sure that you are checking the course descriptions that you were given to ascertain that you have whatever prerequisite that you need for that particular class. And so that's how we read a master schedule and we're going to use that schedule in order to create a schedule on our own so that we can complete the form. So step two, you says use the curriculum guide and course descriptions to ensure you have met the minimum requirements or prerequisites for each course. And then three, says use your course recommendations 
and course requests found on your Infinite Campus account. And there is a video there in case you cannot remember how to do that. So I'm going to go to um, some a course request of a particular student and we are going to walk through how to create a potential schedule with those particular courses. I've pulled up the master schedule beside me so that we can look to see when things are offered. The first thing it says is using the master schedule and your course recommendations or request determine when each course on your recommendation or request is offered in the master schedule. So the first thing I see is homeroom. Homeroom is not anything you need to schedule so we're going to mark through homeroom. Now let's look at English 2. We know that English 2 is a full year course and so we are going to mark this as full year, meaning it covers two semesters, which is what that 2 indicates right there. And English 2 is available first period, it's available second period, it's available third period, fourth period, and fifth period, but not sixth period. Accelerated geometry, again, it's a full year, meaning it takes up two units, which that means that it would be um, the same period both semesters. So I'm going to go to the math section, and I notice that there is no accelerated geometry in first period, but there is an accelerated geometry in second period. There is not an accelerated geometry in third period. There is an accelerated geometry in fourth period. There is not an accelerated geometry in fifth, but there is an accelerated geometry in sixth period. Next, if we go to chemistry, we will notice that chemistry is available every period except for first. So it's available second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And again, it is a full year course, one period each semester for a total of two units. AP government is offered first period. It's not offered second. It's not offered third. It is offered fourth but it is not offered fifth or sixth. And again, it is a full year course because it is a core class, meaning it is um, one period for both semesters. As we look down at our elective courses, if you notice principles of marketing and photography set have a one unit, which means those classes are semester long courses which means there's going to be some availability in semester one, and there's going to be some availability in semester two. So I'm just going to make some headings here that say semester one, semester two, so we will know when those courses are offered. Principles of Marketing is a JCTC, or not a JC, but it's a CTE class. So if I go down to the CTE electives, I will notice that in first semester, I see principles of marketing, first period, second period, third period, I don't have one fourth period, I see one fifth period, 
and I see one sixth period. Media Arts is a course that is non-CTE, so I will look at the non-CTE electives for that one. I notice that Media Arts Photography is not offered first period, it's not offered second, it's not offered third. I do see an offering fourth during first semester. I do not see an offering fifth or sixth during first semester. So for first semester, then go ahead and let's look at um, vet assisting one to see if it's offered. It is a pathway elective. So I will look in the pathway electives category. There's vet assisting two. That's not the one I need. But I noticed that vet assisting one is right here. Vet assisting one is available both third period and fourth period. But if you notice, it says DB which means double blocked. So that course is a semester long course, but it covers two periods, which is why you see a two in the units right there. So it is a three, four double blocked class. So that means I would have the class both third and fourth periods. So now let's look at second semester. So for non-pathway electives, we'll look there because we know we're um, worried about media arts there. We notice there's a media arts second period and there is a media arts photography sixth period. If we look at the CTE classes and if we're looking at Principles of Marketing, we'll notice there is a Principles of Marketing class offered first period. There is not a Principles of Marketing second period. There is a Principles of Marketing third period. There is not a Principles of Marketing fourth. There is not a Principles of Marketing fifth. But there is a Principles of Marketing sixth. And if we look for vet assisting one, if we go down to the green area, you will notice there is no vet assisting one offered at all during second semester. So now we have indicated where each of the classes on our request sheet are offered. So now we're ready to follow the remaining directions in how to determine a schedule. I have listed beside, again, each class when it's offered. So now let's determine what to do in order to create our potential schedule. The second part of my direction said place the course with the fewest number of offerings on your potential schedule. Well, if you notice, Vet Assisting 1 has the fewest class offerings. So I'm going to write the periods down the side and the semesters at the top. Vet Assisting 1 is in third and fourth periods first semester. And let's pretend that's my number one goal is to be in Vet Assisting 1. So I'm going to choose to be in Vet Assisting 1. So now I can take off Vet Assisting 1. So I'm going to delete Vet Assisting 1 because I've already put that into my schedule. But also anything that's offered third and fourth period, I'm going to eliminate that period and semester of that course. So that means English 2, I can't take it third period. Chemistry, I can't take that third period. Principles of Marketing first semester, I can't have it. And clearly, I'm already, I've already taken Vet Assisting 1, so I'm okay there. Okay, so now I have four core courses. So I'm going to need to determine 
where to place my four core courses. So I have availability first, second, fifth, or sixth. And so I'm going to go ahead and place those core courses and then make some determinations a little later on about what's important to me. So if I'm looking at those core courses, I will notice that Accelerated Geometry and AP Government only have two offerings. And I also, I did forget to go ahead and mark off fourth period because I cannot be in the fourth period class of anything because that vet assisting one took up third and fourth. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark off fourth periods as well. When I look at AP Government and Accelerated Geometry, those are only available first period for AP Government, second period for Accelerated Geometry. So those have to go there. So I'm gonna put in AP Government for first, for both semesters, because it is a two semester course. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna mark off the ones. And that means accelerated geometry must go fourth period as well, but I believe we said there was one available sixth. Let me check to make sure that that is correct. Yes, there is an accelerated geometry offered sixth. So I could choose either second or sixth for accelerated geometry. That is completely up to you. I love math and I wanna look forward to it at the end of the day. So I'm going to choose to do Excel geometry during sixth period. So that means I can't take chemistry sixth. I'm, I've already scheduled Excel geometry. I've scheduled AP government. Um, and I can't really put any of my elective sixth period or any other period besides third and fourth because my core classes have to go in those other four spots. So now we're going to look at chemistry and English too. Either of those classes could go second and fifth. So I'm going to choose to take, sorry about that. I'm gonna to choose to take English two for second. And I'm going to choose to take, which means I can't take chemistry second clearly. And I'm going to take chemistry for fifth. So as you see, we have everything on our schedule except for these two empty spots, semester two for third and fourth period. The way I have created the schedule, I could not be in media arts, but I can take principles of marketing and principles of marketing, if you notice, there is an availability third period, second semester. So I will put in principles of marketing. And because I am beginning that pathway, there is a class that will be coupled with that. The counselors know that. And so we will fill in your empty spot right there. So that is one potential schedule that you can have. So with our first potential schedule created, we are gonna look at the rest of this form. Things to remember, not all classes that you requested may be offered and that's okay. We can determine alternate courses based on your responses to questions that are later in this form. And then I have listed where the um, other courses are being taught. 
And then also that last bullet there that if you're beginning a new pathway, you will be scheduled for two courses if that pathway is off campus. And so we remembered that with principles of marketing, so that was good. So I've given an example there that if the pathway you are beginning is offered at JCTC during third period, you will also be scheduled for a course at JCTC during fourth period. And so therefore in that scenario, your core courses would be first, second, fifth, and sixth. And that just so happened to be the way that the schedule we created exactly worked out. So this form, you're gonna put your last name and first name in it, and then your grade level next year. And then we ask you to identify your pathway and record that below. In this scenario, um, my pathway would be um, the agriculture, but I would also have to answer yes to the new pathway for the 2021 school year, which was the principles of marketing. But the current path, the other pathway I'm working on is the principles of ag. There are pathways that require applications, and so you need to make sure any of the pathways that you are interested in taking, that you have completed that necessary application. So if you've requested on your request sheet any of the, the classes that are um, indicated in the programs that require applications, then you need to make sure that you go to that link and complete that application. In the example I provided, I would need to complete the application for veterinary assisting one. And then I'm asked, have you completed that necessary application? And I could say yes. Then if there are other pathways of interest to you, please list them here. Let's say that I didn't request to be in law, but that's kind of interesting to me too. Then I could put law there. That just gives counselors another idea if we can't fit your schedule exactly the way that um, you would like for it to be made. Are you planning on taking AP or dual credit courses? In the example I provided, I was planning to take AP government, so I would choose yes in that slot, and then I would go to the AP agreement. And now we are creating our schedule. The first thing it says is, have you checked to make sure you have met all the prerequisites for the courses you've requested? In the courses you've requested, remember you did that um, a couple of months ago. And so in this particular circumstance, I had requested Vet Assisting 1. Well, in the course description guide, you would know that Vet Assisting 1 has the prerequisite of Principles of Agriculture. And I'm going to say, yes, I did pre or Principles of Agriculture um, last year. So that would be a yes. Then I get down into when do you want to take English? When do you want to take math? When do you want to take social studies? When do you want to take science? And so we would indicate where we want to take each of those courses. I believed in the one that we filled out. Second period was our English. Sixth period was our math. Second period, or sorry, first period was our social studies. And fifth period was our science. So I would indicate that there. Are you taking band or choir? For me, that answer would be no. And then you're asked to select at least four courses from the list below that would be acceptable alternates to the electives on our request sheet. And so I would choose four of those. For example, I might choose AP Psych, weightlifting, yearbook, foods. And then if others interested me as well, I could select those there. From the list above, if applicable, write at most two courses that you absolutely do not want on your schedule. For me, that would be music theory, so I would type that in there. And then that's really the only one that I absolutely would not want to have. And then we're ready to create the potential schedule too. And so we're going to take a few minutes, go back, and create that second schedule. Now remember, when we did this, we could have just as easily put accelerated geometry second period. So one way for me to complete this form would be to flip-flop English two and accelerated geometry. But I wanna to talk to you for a minute about what if media arts was 
what I wanted more than anything else. And that was even more important than vet assisting. So what would that look like? Let's just pretend I'm doing vet assisting just to kind of continue in that pathway, but I'm not really passionate about it. I've decided to go try the marketing. So then what would my schedule look like? So I could create an alternate schedule. So I'm going to do some erasing so that we can start fresh. This time what we said was most important was media arts photography. So again, we want to look at the class that's offered the fewest number of times. And in this scenario, since I've decided vet assisting isn't as important to me as media arts and the other schedule, I realized I couldn't take media arts. I'm going to redo a schedule. And um, so now I'm just going to take vet assisting one off there because I know I don't want it. But what I notice is that um, in this scenario, AP government and politics become, becomes what has the least amount of offerings. And let's pretend that I know I want that fourth period. So I notice that that still leaves me opportunity to take media arts. So I'm going to put AP government fourth because I like it. It's in the middle of the day. It'll break my day up well or whatever reason. I want AP government fourth. So just like we did before, we're going to go through and we're going to take away all of the fourth period offerings. Now I want to schedule that media arts. I can opt to take media arts either second or sixth period, second semester. So I'm gonna take media arts second period, second semester. That means that all of the second periods go away for second semester. So now I need to go ahead and schedule. Um, it looks like I would want to go ahead and schedule accelerated geometry now because there's only one offering left. So Excel Geo has to go sixth period. And then I'm going to take away all the sixth period options. And now I want to schedule my English too. It looks like that could go first, third, or fifth. The issue with putting it first is that I know I want to take this principles of marketing, which means that, remember, I'm beginning a pathway, which means that I'm going to have to be at JCTC for two periods. So I can either take that first period or second period, and again, the counselors will know when to put that class because they're going to put you in a class also that doubles with that principles of marketing because you're beginning that pathway. So therefore, I know that I can't take anything first or second period. So that means now I can move my English to or my chemistry to third period. So I'm going to put chemistry in third. So now third is gone, which means that fifth has to be English too. So when I'm completing the form, I once again have to answer the question, have you checked to make sure you have met all prerequisites for the courses? That answer would be yes. When do you want to take English? On the second schedule, it was fifth. When do you want to take math? That answer was sixth. When do you want to take social studies? The answer was fourth. And then when do you want to take science? That answer was third. Are you taking band or choir would be a no. What is the most important thing to you? Your desired pathway, your order of your core classes, or being involved in the arts? 
that's totally up to you depending on how you want to answer that. That's an overall. So let's pretend for just a second that I really, really, really wanted to be in principles of ag. So then that would be something I would consider, not principles of ag, I'm sorry, vet assisting one. So that would be something that was extremely important to me. So I would mark extremely important. Order of core classes, I would like for them to be that way, but that would be something that maybe wouldn't be ranked as high as my desired pathway. So maybe I would give that a three. Being involved in the arts, not really that important to me, so I would mark a one. What we would ask is that definitely on all of this, don't mark everything as extremely important because we need to know if something doesn't work the way you want it to work, then um, what should we focus on first as we're doing your scheduling? Again, so please mark those as maybe most important to least important when you're doing um, this ranking. The office hours for counselors are 12 to 6, and you can drop in anytime to meet live and talk with a counselor, or you can complete the counselor referral form if you have any questions. And we want to know, have you shared your potential schedule with your parents, and then are there any comments you have about your schedule, or is there anything else that you feel that we need to know? And then once you're finished with all that, you're ready to submit it. And as long as you've submitted by the deadline, then we will start looking at um, creating these schedules in order of attendance with those that have been submitted. So we look forward to hearing from you and we look forward to getting your input on the schedule. Thank you so much for your work on this and we will talk to you later. Hope to see you soon.